So you've mastered flow trails. You can rip your way around a berm, pump your way through rollers and hit those big old jumps. But arguably, there's much more to mountain biking than perfectly manicured flowy trails. Yes, it's time to tackle some Tekka's trails. So sit back as we go from flow to tech. What are flow trails then? Well, they are just that big, fun, fast trails that you can flow down nice and naturally. Built up berms, turns, rollers, jumps, you name it, it's all in there. A lot of the time they're greens and blues. However, reds and blacks can be flow trails as well, but just watch out because they could have some big old rollers and jumps in them. So one of the massive differences going from flow trails to tech trails is the gradient, just how steep the tracks can be. Now this can be quite a mental challenge to overcome. So my advice here is to start small and work up. Start with a gentle gradient and finally find things that get steeper and steeper and steeper. Some key things to remember when it does get steep, then brake modulation is very important. Being nice and gentle on the brakes. If you are too grabby, especially with the front brake, the steeper the terrain and the more grabby you are with that front brake is gonna shift your body weight forwards over the front of the bike, causing a potential massive OTB. Confidence is absolutely key here then. So starting small and working your way up is crucial because in your mind, you will slowly start to overcome that fear of the steeper trails more and more and more until you are gonna smash stuff like this. If you're riding a lot of flow trails, your bike setup, well, it's gonna be a little bit different to when you're riding tech trails. For example, one big difference is suspension. Suspension could be a lot stiffer on the flower trails, and this is because, well, they're smooth, of course. When you start hitting tech, you might wanna think about softening that suspension up a little bit, just to help absorb all the bumps and the ripples and changing surfaces like the rocks and the roots. Also, a more aggressive tire, something that's gonna bite into the ground a little bit more. With all the loose surfaces and changing varieties of surface, you're gonna want something with a good gnarly tread pattern so they can really get you the most grip and possibly a thicker casing so you can drop the pressures down too to really get the most grip and fun out of your ride. You might notice on those flow trails, you've got these big, nice, smooth, built up turns and berms. Well, you don't really get that so much on the tech trails. You get stuff looking a lot more like this. So when it comes to stuff like this, your braking is very different. Modulation is required, so that's a little bit more control on the brake, less sort of on and off. And actually you've got to brake before turns. So I'll ride this, I'll come into a turn and I'll do my braking up here before it and then I'll ride nice and smooth around it. I may need to modulate the brakes to keep a little gentle brake pressure on, but no big skids or sudden grabs of the front brake. And that's to keep things nice and smooth. The other reason for that, well, ah, is because look at it. It's a lot looser here in the turn. It's not groomed, it's not manicured. So if you are really grabby on the brakes, there's a potential for crashing. I mean, look at all the rocks and roots we got dotted around as well. Body position then, the attack position more specifically. Now, a general body position you'll have had mastered from hitting the flow, but the attack position kind of takes it to the next level and puts you in that position on the bike, ready to tackle the more daring obstacles in front of you, should we say. But what is the attack position? Well, here it is. So the attack position then, your weight's gonna shift ever so slightly back behind the saddle. You're gonna have a slightly more bend in the elbows, bringing that chest lower, head's gonna be up, Heels are gonna be dropped to force into the pedals. Ooh. And then you're always gonna be looking even further ahead this time. So you're gonna be squatted down, ready to attack, and off you go. A great skill that's gonna need a little bit of advancement is unweighting. So essentially, taking the weight off of your bike, and that can be used to either transfer direction, so through corners, off jumps, drops, or hopping something. So essentially what you're doing is you're squatting into the bike and then bouncing up, arms and legs, sort of thrusting your body up, and then that's unweighting the bike, making it nice and light that you can move your body or the bike left or right or wherever it may need to go. So on this little bit of section here that we've just done, it's a little bit rough, so what I'm doing is I'm compressing just before it, unweighting the bike and then sort of floating off the top, skipping over all the bumps rather than just plowing through them. 
Right, let's talk features when it comes to the difference between flow and tech. So when you jump up to those tech trails, the features essentially escalate, they get bigger. So you're gonna have bigger jumps, larger drops, rougher, steeper, rockier, looser sections. And that's to differentiate between sort of those smoother blue-green flow type trails. So the blue trails are gonna give you some kind of warm up for this. However, like I said, it's gonna be of a grander scale when you get onto the techier red and black trails. Just be careful of the technicality of the trail you're jumping up to. The harder the trail, the more consequence generally there is on a feature. So features will become less rollable or not rollable at all. Jumps will have actual gaps in them. Drops won't be a sort of a fade away, they'll be a sheer drop, which obviously unless you commit to, you are gonna end up hurting yourself. And I don't want that. There we are then, a little bit of advice, top tips, if you will, for progressing from flow to tech trails. Let, let me know how you get on in the comments down below, people. If there's any more advice you'd like, also let me know as well, because I'm always happy to give it to you. Look, thank you for watching, everyone. It's been an absolute pleasure. But from me here in uh, Arizona, I will catch you next time. Happy riding, everyone. See you later.